Um, we shall uh, be talking now about Magnesia muriatica. Again, Magnesia muriatica, we can say it's, a, it's also a liver remedy. It's a remedy that uh, has a, as a main characteristic a kind of temperament which we call sour, sour temperament. This has been developed through years of liver and digestive function and digestive system misfunctioning. So when we see that sour temperament with indigestion, we'll think of Magnesia muriatica. Which other remedy can have that? It is Nax vomica. But Nax vomica is completely different, different, as we shall see. These people that have a kind of bitterness, they feel unhappy and quite tired. Eventually they will reach a state of having an aversion to make an effort or an aversion to, to, to think and a state of mind which we call dullness, dullness of mind. There are people that have this kind of bitterness inside but not the, the hardness or the thorny, thorny kind of bitterness that we see in uh, Nax vomica. Nax vomica will, will be aggressive, irritable, and uh, will have this bitterness but will be irritable, aggressive. Magnesia muriatica is the opposite. There are, it belongs to people who they have a kind of aversion to fighting and, uh, and uh, quarreling. Because of that, they cannot tolerate, they cannot stand too much quarreling and fighting and noises in their immediate environment will be the, the people that they will seek actually to pacify everybody around them. They are the pacifists, which is quite opposite with Max Vomica. Eh? Again, indigestion, again a sour temperament in, in Max Vomica, but so much aggressiveness and so much anger and so much quarreling with the least thing they will fly in a temper and they will quarrel, they will say, help, cha, bam, the telephone, they cannot control their temper. Magnesia muriatica. They do not, they do not want that. Ah, there is uh, fighting. I says, come on, come on, calm, calm down, please, stop. They will do, I mean, Magnesia muriatica children, that they have already a dysfunctioning of their liver, the digestive system is not doing well, and the, 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 the parents describe the children as very uh, frightened when they hear them, the parents fighting, and they want them to calm down, and we say, please mama, please father, I mean, this can be Magnesia Muriatica children. Magnesia muriatica uh, patients are very, very sensitive to any kind of confront, confrontation. Confrontation which involves either themselves directly or even two other people. They are very sensitive to this kind of vibrations.
they have a strong sense of duty. They are people that they will, they will do whatever is right to be done. And they easily overload themselves with a lot of tasks and a lot of responsibilities. And then, of course, they come into a state of anxiety because they cannot deliver what they have promised or they, what they, they would like and they have undertaken to deliver. And they come in a state of anxiety. When, when they are in that state, they will have such great anxiety that they go into bed and they cannot sleep anymore. The same as nax vomica, sleeplessness, but from too much thinking in, in nax vomica. Here is the anxiety that they have not done, they have not delivered what they should have done. This, this state, uh, this sense of duty, together with the emotional sensitivity to others, eventually leads to great restlessness and fidget fidgetiness. And over this restlessness, they become restless, fidgety, uh, with indigestion, and they cannot sleep. some cases they cannot sleep a whole night they will remain uh, awake and they will sleep towards the morning and then when they will wake up they will feel totally unrefreshed it is a great characteristic of magnesia muriatica that when this anxiety develops the anxiety state together with dysfunction of the liver when they go into bed, even if they sleep the whole night, they wake up in the morning in a such a state that it is indescribable. The, the, the body feels absolutely heavy. They don't want to talk. They do not have the energy to talk in the morning. They feel completely uh, lo uh, um, stiff all over. Stiff. It is... It's stiffness, it is heaviness, it is it's a dullness, it is a, a, a state of confusion in the mind. It's terrible the way that they wake up. Magnesium muriatica, therefore, becomes one of the main remedies which has unrefreshing sleep. We see when we go to the our books and we see unrefreshing sleep. It doesn't mean anything. The way I describe to you, it is that state which they will describe to you their waking state. Or if you go there in. Uh, the repertory, it will say in the morning, aversion to talk in the morning, something like that. But this state is the, the, the real state of Magnesia Muriatica. Now, what is very interesting is that many times with Magnesia Muriatica, even with little elements, whether it is a flu or uh, whether it's a common cold, they may get into a very restless and anxious state on lying in bed and closing the eyes. You see, they, they feel very tired. The Magnesia muriatica are very tired people. As we'll see, it progresses, that state of tiredness becomes more and more, and we'll see another state that comes. But they are quite tired, and they feel they must go to bed. And they go to bed, and they lie down, and, and they close their eyes. And they, it's three, four, five minutes. And there develops a state of anxiety. They are tired, they want to stay in bed, and the state of anxiety comes and does not allow them. And the restlessness, and then they turn around and they try to keep in bed, and they cannot. And then eventually they have to jump, jump up from bed and walk up and down the room to calm themselves down. And it is phenomenal how much the symptoms which are appearing while lying down, when they lie down and they have a common cold, the, the nose, say, is blocked, is and immediately comes a dyspnea and dysphoria and they cannot breathe and they cannot and then the anxiety and then the restlessness and then it's a syndrome, syndrome altogether which builds up 
while they are lying and having their eyes closed. They have to get up and walk up and down, up and down, and then they are relieved. So did that becomes characteristic of Magnesia Muriatica people. But Magnesia Muriatica now breaks down the whole system, makes the whole system feel tired and old. This, the tissues, the tissues, they become dried up. There are rag others, there are uh, cracks in, uh, in the corners. There are the, the the skin becomes older looking from dried up uh, situation. And it's very characteristic with Mag Magnesia Muriatica people that as they go through, through suffering in life and then eventually the liver starts to break down, the digestive system is not working a lot, uh, more disappointments, more dysfunction of the liver, more waking up in the morning very tired, more constipation, etc., more indigestion, uh, more feel tired and more tired, and then one day they go to the mirror, they look in the mirror, and I say, oh my God, I'm old, I become old, suddenly. They realize. And the moment they, they, be, they look at the mirror, they do not have the energy to liven up. But it seems that there is a vicious circle. Looking at the mirror makes them feel more tired, more old. And one of the main characteristics of Magnesia Muriatica, you will see this tiredness, this digestion, liver, etc., the waking up in the morning. Also, they will say, I have become old. I mean, this the feeling that they have become old, they look old, and then eventually a, a, an asocial feeling comes where they want to be by themselves. They don't want company, they don't want out to go to the parties. The, the woman will say to, his, to her husband, just go by yourself, I'm too tired to come. There is no energy. And you see how sensitive, they, they become sensitive to noises, sensitive to quarreling. It is the noise, the quarreling, and all that, they feel like they cannot handle, so they have to have peace in, in, in their uh, surroundings. Duty bound, also. Just try to, 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 to make a spherical kind of understanding of, the, of this patient. Duty bound. They undertake responsibilities. They want to deliver. They cannot because they do not have enough energy. Then anxiety, then restlessness, then effort, almost nervous effort to, to nervous energy. They pick up nervous energy to, to deliver what they have to do. That makes them more tired. They go to sleep and sleep gives them no relief. They wake up in the morning in a terrible state. And then they appear as if all the time they're in, a, you see, the, the sour temperament, I say sour temperament, we're using words, I cannot deliver, I cannot describe more, I have to use words. The sour temperament is because I have been suffering a lot, suffering, suffering, seeing, seeing also things are happening and that are unjust, 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 they don't like, they want to react. It is not a revolutionary reaction towards injustice that we see in causticum. Causticum will see, will see uh, injustice, will jump, uh, will fight. Magnesia muriatica will see injustice, will try to balance things. Causticum will fight, is the anarchist. Sometimes in causticum, in children, in causticum children, you will see, you will see they are doing things a very, very aggressive, very anarchistic. Why? Because they cannot tolerate authority. 
anything for them is authority. Don't tell me how to do it, I can't. I mean, this is the attitude of causticum. And if they see injustice, they feel now I have the right to kill. I mean, this is, these are the people they put the bombs. You know, and the anarchist give a causticum case and give him a bomb and tell him <laughs> that this man is, is, uh, is unjust and uh, is, well, he will put the bomb. He, he feels, I mean, that like, uh, he has to do it. Give him a causticum. <laughs> he does not care anymore. Not really, but anyhow, almost. It's interesting also, it's interesting, I don't know if uh, the old people, the old people will say that, uh, that people who are affected by, by conflicts and confrontations, that their liver may be affected. You see, the, the Magnesia Muriatica exemplifies exactly that situation. Confrontations will affect, almost will affect physically the liver, will make the liver dysfunction. So we have aggravation from lying down in all symptoms and especially when we have anxiety and restlessness. This is the number one remedy. If somebody tells you that, never mind what is the condition he is suffering, when I lie down and I close my eyes, there comes anxiety and restlessness and I have to get up. This is a Magnesia Muriatica case. Another characteristic is the aggravation from salt. Aggravation from salt in all forms. Whether they eat salt can be aggravated. Eating a little bit more salt than the normal can aggravate their situation very much. And also going to the sea. It seems that the muriatic element, like the natrum muriaticum, is aggravated in the sea. The muriatic acid is aggravated in the sea. The Kali muriaticum is aggravated in the sea. The muriatic element seems to be aggravated in the sea. Magnesia muriatica is aggravated by eating salt also, which is also a characteristic of another remedy, very well known remedy, aggravation from salt. Who knows? which is the number one remedy, aggravation from salt. If, if somebody tells you, as soon as I eat salt, I become very, very ill. This is one remedy which is very prominent in that. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is aggravated by salt. And another remedy, another remedy, what? Se, se, le, selenium. <laughs> aggravation, aggravation in the, in the sea, which, which is the, another remedy which has very much aggravation in the sea, does not belong to the muriatic uh, elements. Aggravation in the sea, May, mainly it's an osode, but not medorinum or sifilinum. It is lysinum, tuberculinum, tuberculinum. Tuberculinum is aggravated in the sea very much. Also, another remedy which is a complementary of natrum muriaticum. And it's aggravated in the sea also. Who said? Sepia. Very good. Uh, 
statistics, eh? <laughs> so, magnesium muriatica, how reacts to weather? It is a cold remedy. It's a cold remedy, aggravated by cold, but in spite of that, they may have warm feet, so much warm that they stick them out of covers during night in bed. They have to put out their feet in bed. There are a few other remedies which are cold and are warm in their feet, in spite of being cold, they are warm in their feet. Calcare carbonica. Lycopodium. Sanicula. Sanguinaire is a warm remedy. Camomilla also. And so Magnesia muriatica, you will see that they are cold and they are affected by cold. Their feet are warm, but what they want is to go out and walk in the open air. So it is the same characteristic as another remedy which has that, feels cold, but wants the cold air, is Lycopodium. Lycopodium. aggravation, the restlessness, the morning aggravation, the worst cold may lead you to think which remedy? Morning aggravation, restless, worst cold, morning aggravation, rustox. May lead you to think of rustox. How you differentiate? They wake up, Rastox wakes up in the morning very stiff, eh, with pains. But Rastox has nothing in comparison with Magnesia muriatica, has not, not the unrefreshedness, not the heavy feeling, not the dullness, not, it is the stiffness in the joints and stiffness on the muscles which makes a Rastox case. And they want to get up and move about to relieve the stiffness. And then, Rastox has a characteristic which is very great in desires, desires, desires milk very much. In Magnesia muriatica, there might be some desire for milk, there might be some aversion to milk, but what is more char most characteristic is that if they drink milk, they have an aggravation, they will have diarrhea. Severe diarrhea which comes about after drinking milk. And a general aggravation from milk. They have a desire for sweets and also for, for, for fruits. And a strong desire for vegetables. Sometimes that can be an aversion to vegetables like the Magnesia Carbonica. Magnesia Carbonica is primarily aversion to vegetables. Magnesia Muriatica you will find sleeping on the left side, mostly, and is ameliorated by sleeping on the left side. But if the liver is affected, when they sleep on the left side, they have a dragging feeling, as if the liver is dragging down. They have quite severe jerkings, 
electric-like jerkings, sensations, of, especially by the time that they lie down, the time of the lay, lie down, it's a time of aggravation for magnesia for muriatica. When, once they lie down, whether it is with this, the, the, the dyspnea, whether it is the, uh, the headache, whether it is the uh, diarrhea, whether it's the pains, the colicky pains, are aggravated during lying down, especially the first hour of lying down. And all the uh, muri, uh, magnesias are aggravated by slight touch. Slight touch. If you press deep hard, it is okay. But slight touch will aggravate the pains or the situations. Magnesium muriatica also can be quite hysterical because of that sensitivity in the nervous system. As I have described, they sometimes perform in a hysterical way. They, they react in a hysterical way. And many times you will find some numbness in the extremities, undescribable, during a, a crisis of almost hysteria. Numbness in the lower extremities. Also, there is a great anxiety by the time of dinner, in the evening, during eating, in the evening, there comes a great anxiety. Anxiety also while reading, while reading, but as I told you, the psychology is such that they, they, they retract themselves, they take away themselves from society and they go on reading, and many times they like reading, and their fantasy, their, uh, um, yeah, their imaginations are very active during reading. Exaltation during reading, for instance, in a person who has been having that kind of temperament, will indicate Magnesia muriatica. They do not have much anxiety about their, their selves. Anxiety about health is also almost unknown in uh, uh, Magnesias. Fears also, very few fears. And uh, you can see some fear of robbers, perhaps, <laughs> which is almost natural. Dullness, dullness of intellect, especially on waking in the morning, ameliorated by going into cold air. They don't want to exert themselves. The dullness becomes worse if they press themselves to keep on doing intellectual work. Women become very excitable during menses, during the period of their menses. The tendency for uh, suicide is very minimal in uh, uh, Magnesia muriatica, but in the morning there is what we call a loathing of life. They just don't want to go on living. That is in the morning when they wake up. It takes them about from three quarters to an hour before they, they, they can function again after sleep.
have some characteristics in uh, the head. Headache, which is mostly on temples, which are ameliorated by heart pressure, is a characteristic. Heart pressure ameliorate in general is a characteristic, but especially the temples. If you find a, a symptom like a feeling as if boiling in the head when lying down, especially upon that side, that is a keynote. Also, headaches which are relieved sometimes by a few drops of lemon. I have to take some lemon, a few drops of lemon, to relieve the headache. That can become characteristic of Magnesia muriatica. Also, relief from lemon is another remedy which has relief from lemon, from eating uh, lemon, sour, which is the remedy. Nobody? Starts with P. What? Put the film? No. No. It's a very characteristic. You have to remember that remedy. If there is an amelioration from uh, from uh, eating eating very sour things, especially lemon. You see that in headaches, in stomach pains, in colic pains, in everything they need, sour things. Now, uh, which is the remedy? The P. The headaches of Magnesia muriatica can last two or three days, continuous, without any interval. Sleeps and wakes up with headaches for three days, then after a month again, after one and a half month again. This can become a symptom of Magnesia muriatica or which other remedy? Ferrum metallicum. Also a headache which is ameliorated by, uh, by pressing the eyeballs strongly can be uh, magnesia muriatica. A headache that comes in women around the period of menses, either during, before, or uh, either before, during, or after menses. Headaches which come before, during or after menses. They come either before or during or after. Or it can be before, during and after. Around that period, headaches which are revolving around the menses period only, then it can be Magnesia muriatica. Margins of leads become inflamed and crusty. A coriza which is ameliorated in the open air can be magnesium muriatica.
and in the alternation of a coriza from dry coriza to uh, uh, discharge. Neuralgias that they may come, facial neuralgias that they may become better after warming, warming the face or after pressure, hard pressure. In the stomach we have the aggravation from milk and many times also fruit and fat aggravates the magnesia muriatica. Eructations that they are like garlic, garlic, especially when we have a crisis of convulsions that ends up in eructations, the end of the crisis of, 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 of convulsions, then it's only magnesia muriatica. So after milk we'll have diarrhea, we'll have indigestion, we'll have pain in the stomach, large liver, especially the left lobe, and large hard liver. And pain, colicky pains in the abdomen around one o'clock in the morning would indicate magnesia muriatica. in the right hypochondria extending to the back like chelidonium and lycopodium region when lying on the right side. We have constipation which uh, is difficult to evacuate the stool with ineffectual urging which makes it again like Nax vomica. Insufficient stool, like silica or Nax vomica. There is a constipation sometimes in the small ones, the ba babies. Constipation in the babies in, uh, during the first months of when they have the pains from, uh, from the teeth. When together with the pains of the teeth, constipation comes, the remedy most probably is magnesia muriatica. The stool is hard, knotty, and large. But after milk, it becomes diarrhoic and mussy, mussy, with tending to be yellowish, whitish in color.
in the urination we have cystitis with a difficulty to urinate and has to press a long time before he can void a little bit of urine. And it is a characteristic of Magnesia muriatica if they cannot pass urine while standing, but they have to walk. As soon as they walk, the urine is <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> And sometimes they have an insensibility, insensibility in the urethra and they may lose urine without understanding it. Magnesia muriatica is one of the main remedies for loss of this sensation in, during urination. They don't feel whether urinate or not. Together with which remedy? Causticum. And also Argentum nitricum. Very good. Argentum nitricum. <laughs> How much? <laughs> How much very good? That's <laughs> good. In women we have uh, frequent suppression of menses, frequently the menses are suppressed or either too frequent or suppressed. Irregularities in menses. Leucorrhea in the morning, on waking, together with sepia, eh? which is aggravated by cohesion, by sexual uh, intercourse. The sexual sphere of Magnesia muriatica is not presenting a specific interest. It's almost normal. There is no, there are no much to be uh, noticed there. I'm just trying to give you the most important things to remember. If you remember what I told you, it's more than enough to be able to recognize a Magnesia muriatica, yet we do not have the full range or either we don't have or maybe it does not have other symptomatology on mental emotional level to be able to uh, pin it down. Magnesia muriatica also, uh, you must remember, in sleep, if the person says, I wake up at 3 a.m. and cannot sleep after that time, one of the main remedies is Magnesia muriatica. An aggravation at 3 a.m. in general can be a Magnesia muriatica. It's not only Cali carbonicum. So to, to, to make a resume, to remember the remedy, 
will be a remedy which is uh, which is when an individual who is quite tired has gone through life many many uh, griefs in life has become weak tired looks old he feels old he has developed a bitterness and a sour temperament he is cold but ameliorated into open air his feet are warm he wakes up in the morning very unrefreshed very unrefreshed his time of aggravation is three o'clock around three o'clock but mostly when also when he lies down first lies down and closing his eyes where he has anxiety and restlessness